is Kale's Kitchen, weeknight edition. That means we are off script, we are casual, and we are in my kitchen with Redbird Farms chicken. Always juicy, tender, and delicious. Look at him getting happy. All right, this is uh, six Redbird Farms chicken breasts, boneless, skinless. Only because they come in packages of three, right? So I'm making six. I'm gonna use about four in this recipe we're about to make, but you can save the other two. Chop them up throughout the week. These are recipes that last throughout the week. They're gonna be quick and easy, whatever in your pantry, right? So let's get to it. Salted the water. We're gonna get the pasta going and make something real good tonight. Rachel? Looks, uh, I'm just admiring the, the, admiring the chicken. What are you doing? Admiring the beauty of this you want chicken. To buy, don't you? Yes, I do. You wanna buy down to you? Yeah, it looks so good. Love it, love it, love it. Mmm. <laughs> Alright you guys, I've got the pasta almost al dente. So um, with this I like to use, you can use anything. I like these little fun ones because I feel like it soaks up the vinaigrette a lot better. Can you see that? They're just cute and fun. I don't like to use anything like really bulky with this recipe. You can, it doesn't matter. And also I like to shred the chicken a little because I just think it soaks up the vinaigrette better than like clean cuts on it. And I think it just kind of keeps that casual look to it, all right? So I'm cutting up here and shredding up the Redbird Farms chicken. I'm gonna get my pasta out. And then, because I hate doing dishes, I'm gonna use the same pasta water to just blanch some broccoli really quickly. Now with this, again, any kind of pasta, any kind of green that you want, that's just gonna sit there. Um, and then all this broccoli is gonna go in. I've used this before with like raw arugula, you can do pea pods if you want. I'm gonna do broccoli tonight. I'm gonna blanch that for only like a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Usually when you blanch stuff, um, you do like a cold water thing at the end, you know, like you give it like a cold water bath. I'm actually not going to this time because I wanted to soak up the vinaigrette I'm about to make. And things just like soak it up easier if it's hot. If it's all hot and if you top nice to it, it just sucks it up better. All right, so I've got a couple of cloves of garlic here. You don't want to scare the kids so not too much, right? Again, all of these things I like to keep in the fridge throughout the week. So when we run into like different appointments or swimming lessons or whatever we're going to, we've got it for you. I'm actually going to give this a nice big stir. It's almost ready to come out. I'm gonna hit this with really good olive oil. That does make a difference. It is important that you do that. Cause what we're doing right now is we're gonna make like a lemon sauce, right? So just give it a nice big pinch of kosher salt. Get your lightsaber. <laughs> get a little lemon zest in this bad boy. Don't go too far in. Once you get to the white part, that gets disgusting. Just to the white part, okay? Most flavor in this lemon is right here in the zest. So the zest of one lemon is gonna flavor all this warm pasta. So don't be afraid to kind of let it go, let it do its thing. And then I'm gonna juice this as well. So what we're gonna do now, let's take this out. Our broccoli is nice and blanched. Again, usually if you're gonna do this with any other thing, I would put it in an ice bath right now because I'm cooking it right now. It's gonna go right in the, like, right in the pasta. Let's whisk this bad boy up. I'll get salt. The garlic's going in. I told you this was a casual addition, right? We're moving fast. Half of a lemon. I'm gonna get this a little bit better. Y'all, I didn't ever say it was a clean cook. So, we got garlic, lemon, Kosher salt, good olive oil. I wanna get this on here right now so it all starts soaking it up, right? I'm gonna toss it here in just a second and get it with the chicken, I'll be right back. I got the chicken in, here's how I plate this up. First of all, I am obsessed with basil. Like there is nothing better in this world. So I'm gonna julienne some basil just from my backyard. If you don't have it, that's fine. If you have parsley on hand, even if you have dried herbs, just go ahead and give it a nice rub before you put it on, kind of wake those herbs up again. And I toasted some walnuts. I've said it before, toast your nuts. This is a good cheese, whether it's Parmesan, I've got a Pecorino Romano that I'm gonna put over this here. A little bit of pepper, make it pretty. There we go, give it a toss. Give it a toss, tell it you love it. So again, with this, this is something that I keep in the refrigerator throughout the week 
kids are coming and going. You want to make sure everyone's kind of eating healthy. I top it with a little toasted walnuts for the kids. They're not really into it, so I don't. Hit it with a little fresh basil, julienne, a little bit of pepper, a little more cheese, because you can't go wrong. And there you go. Another great idea with Redbird Farms Chicken. You guys pick it up at King Supers, Safeway, and City Market. You can't put a price on great taste. See you next time.